All right, guys, just wanted to do a quick little video. I finally got this thing cooking. Um, stepper motors were wired incorrectly. Had to figure that out. I'll show you in a minute here. And not only that, uh, come on, connect. Uh, hold on. Sorry about that. All right. And not only that is the kit didn't come with the jumpers. So I had to scrounge up a whole bunch of jumpers so I could get the steppers to go in 116th mode. So now that everything is running pop properly, um, this, I'm in Repetier Host here. I'm going to connect. <clears throat> I'm going to go to Manual Control. And let's see. G28 is our home. And it just goes all the way up. And it hits the end stops to figure out what the top. And then G29 is our auto level. Now, the key to this auto level here is the end stop that's right there on the hot end. You've got to make sure, if you're building this kit, you've got to make sure that thing can go back and forth very easily. Um, otherwise, it's just going to stick and think it's locked and keep going up and maybe it'll do it now. I don't know. We'll find out. And there we go. This is what it should do. You hear the click, but it releases every time. There we go. And that's it. And just a little bit of uh, G-code tailoring here. After, so G28 is your home. It goes all the way to the top. G29 is your auto level. And then G, and then an axis, and a number. So I'm going to say Z20.0, and that will tell, it'll just say, chain, go to that axis. So now it just went up a little bit. <clears throat> now, so I had, I did have to tweak the firmware a little bit for the in stop, Z in stop offset a little bit. Um, you want to do the little paper test that everybody talks about. So I keep, I kept on doing G1 and then space Z and then a number, and I kept going lower and lower till I found out what that number was. And whatever that number is that it grabs the paper on, that is going to be, you're going to have to kind of either subtract or minus that from your Z offset in the firmware. Um, so just to, if you're building this kit, that's what's involved. So I'm going to disconnect and I'm going to go ahead and shut this guy off. So we don't need any more disconnected from the thing. And I'm going to raise this guy. So this guy, it's got to click. It's got to release instantly. You've, you've got to be able to do that or else it's just not going to auto level properly. And so I'm going to raise this up here. I'm going to go back up. I'm going to go ahead and just show you the wiring here. Because the wiring was a pain in the rear. And I haven't wired up the fan for my... Um, the extruder motor yet and I just put these little zip tie things in there to clamp down on the bed and hold it firmly kind of thing you can use whatever so now the key here is I don't know if you can tell it's red facing away from the pot yellow gray green my yellow and gray wires were came swapped, and it just didn't work. It, the motors would just shake and clank. They were fighting each other, you know, the coils. So fine, I mean, luckily with the stepper motors, you can just change the wiring all day long. You're not going to hurt the guys as long as you don't send too much voltage or current to it. So, anyhow, I just played with it until I finally figured out that those middle ones needed to be swapped. So, fix that up. And yeah, and also make sure all the jumpers are in underneath the uh, the um, chips here, the driver chips. So pull the chips off, make sure all three jumpers are in, every single one of them. And yeah, and what else? There was one other thing. Oh, and when you're, um, when you're tuning the stepper drivers, you're going to take your multimeter, you're going to put it on, negative goes on the ground, and then you're going to put your positive right on the pot. And you can read the level that's coming out of there. I have mine set to uh, 
for the accesses, for all the accesses, and then for the extruder, I have it set to point uh, 1.0. Um, the wiring diagram that it came with set, said to set everything to 1.2, which these motors aren't rated for that, so I don't know why they said that, but whatever. So um, hopefully this is beneficial to anybody else who gets the DLT 180 kit. Um, auto level is like essential for me. Um, that thing was key, um, but that that way, you know, there's hardly any calibration. Um, so <laughs> cough up the extra 30 bucks or whatever it is for that, because that just saves a ton, unless you're, you know, handy with end stops and whatnot. Um, this is how my end stops are wired, just so you know, it's soldered right on there. And yeah, all right, thanks for watching.